transmission. Lan, we're learning more tonight about the deadly attack at the Holocaust Museum. One of the security guards who was there is now telling his emotional story. D.C. Bureau Chief Sam Ford is live now with what he's saying. Sam? Well, it was one week ago today that the serenity of the National Holocaust Museum was shattered by gunfire. A man walked in with a rifle and fatally wounded Special Police Officer Stephen Johns, whose colleagues then returned fire of the alleged killer. And uh, today, one of those officers recalled that tragedy. I wasn't even supposed to be there that day. It was my day off, and we volunteered to work. One week after the museum shooting that claimed special police officer Stephen John's life, his you colleague, Harry Weeks, one of two officers who shot and wounded John's accused killer, spoke with us today. Weeks, age 50, a retired D.C. cop, talked of his surprise. You can go your whole career without witnessing something like that. Of the unfairness of what happened to John's, who had no confrontation with 88-year-old James Von Braun, who allegedly just killed him. Here he was being gracious to this older man, and it's just sad. You know, he, his mother, his wife, his sons, they didn't deserve this. Outside the Holocaust Museum today, such thoughts were echoed in the unusually large crowds who have come here since the shooting. How horrific that something like that should take place at a, at a sacred place like this. After we heard about this, I wanted to come and pay tribute to him because, well, it's pretty sad that he was doing his job, and he died for his for a right cause. As for weeks, he's on administrative leave now, but he plans to go back to the museum and work and remember a colleague who was doing his job. He came to work just like everyone else. He didn't go home that night. The museum will be closed on Friday until 3 p.m. That is until after the funeral for Officer Stephen Johns, which will be held at the Ebenezer AME Church in Fort Washington, Maryland at 11 o'clock. Also, the museum has set up a memorial fund to help the officer's family, and you can access the museum's website through our website.